Hi guys, I have my Allie Edwards kits here. I've been waiting a while to get something from Allie Edwards and uh, because of shipping difficulties that everybody is going through these days, many of the kits have been delayed. And so I have with me right now my, I think this is the February kits. And uh, it is now the 19th of February. So I live in Canada. I get everything a little bit, um, a little bit delayed from everybody else because of shipping. Yes, I did kind of like have a look through these things before and I actually pulled out some older kits just so that I could show you the difference in the packaging. So as you can see, the Allie Edwards kits come in this kind of a package in the mail and then inside are my two kits. This is my stories kit and this is my stories by the month kit. Now, I was a little bit disappointed with this. I mean, I like that it's paper and you could totally punch these out or cut these out or use them for little chipboard things. And the same with these. So that's kind of, kind of cool, but I don't think I'm really going to do that. What I really loved about her kits was the packaging. So the stories kit used to come in these really nice folders with the reclosable and the reusable and I, really liked having my kits all contained like this because I tend to kind of collect them and then when I have a story to tell I'll go and browse through and find the theme of the kit that I want and then I'll pull it out and use it and then put my leftovers back and put it away until it's almost gone and then I stop putting it in this and then I have one of these that I can reuse. So Ah, I really liked storing them this way. This is going to be more difficult and I think I'm going to just end up using these kits differently than I use these instead of kind of having it as uh, as almost like a, I, I don't want to say backup, but it's sort of, for st I've been using this for telling special stories. I think that this is just going to kind of make its way into my regular craft supplies and I'll use it and that's not a bad thing. I'll, I'll use it. These, to be honest, I don't use these as much as I probably should. Uh, but when I do use them, I'm really, really appreciative of having all of these themed cards and embellishments and stamps and everything that all go together if I want to tell a story about, let's say, action, for example. Uh, so, you know, there's pros and cons to both ways, but, uh, you know, when I signed up, I thought I'd be getting these. But anyhow, um, then the stories kit, the, sorry, the stories by the month kit used to come in these very, very handy little zipper pouches, which is a really great way to keep them, you know, the stories by the month kit for that month. But also if you kind of get behind and you're accumulating a bunch, it's nice to be able to pull a bunch of cards and you know that they match and coordinate with one another. But now the stories by the month kit are in this. So now let's just show you what comes in them. So we have, oops. So this is the stories by the month kit. So I'll just put the link up here in case you don't know how to get to Allie Edwards' website. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, but this is where you can sign up for these kits. I buy these kits myself. None of the content on my channel is sponsored at this point. So uh, I really like these, obviously, or I wouldn't be spending my own money on them. And uh, I'll just show you what comes in the kit. So we get some cards. There are one, two, three, four. There are four four by six cards included. They are single sided cards. And then you also always get a quote four by six card as well. So there's a total of five altogether if you include that quote card, which sometimes is relevant and sometimes it isn't. I collected, I rarely ever used these, but then I collected them all up and I used them all on one project not too long ago. So I don't have any more of these in my stash. So it's kind of nice to start collecting them again. <clears throat> it says more love, more empathy, more kindness. I think that this is a nice quote that I would likely use in my project life. So that'll probably get used this month. Uh, <clears throat> I really, really love this card. It has bring on the love, all the love, love for the win. I love, oh, I love this love card. Obviously it's February, so it's a Valentine's Day theme. And I really like how it looks like it's on like a raw chipboard or like not really wood, but it looks almost like, a, yeah, like a raw chipboard or paper bag or something like that. But I really like that. 
So there's that. Then we have this February month card. I like that quite a lot too. I like all the different fonts on it. This says stuff I love right now. And it has a place to list out, you know, loving this, loving this, loving this. And I typically have a difficult time scrapbooking this way with these sorts of um, cards that have dedicated like journal about this in this certain amount of space. So what I typically end up doing is putting some type of a sticker or a layer or something like that over this part, or I might even kind of do something like this uh, with some pattern paper or another card or, or even put my photo so that it kind of goes like this and then I can use the card in a more flexible way. Uh, oh, there's a little bit of something on this card, but that's okay because the photo will cover it. I do really like cards that are like this, like with, with a good amount of space in the center for you to put a photo or some journaling. So I really do like this one. It says good things currently and hard things currently. I like that it's kind of down to earth and represents most people are dealing with some good things and some bad things at any given time. So that makes it nice to uh, you know, have your project life be more reflective of your, of your whole life. So those are the four by six cards. And then we get one, two, three, four. So I guess we get eight of these one, two, three, four. Yeah. So eight of these three by four cards. It's been a while since I've had one of these kits because I unsubscribed for a while. So it says February is four, and then you can kind of write down the things that you do in February or what you like about February. This one says finding beauty in the small stuff. And I like that it's kind of small hearts and small font and you can put a photo of some little everyday things. This is a really beautiful, I love this kind of a pattern that's just a bunch of, of words over and over again in different inks. This is another really great usable shape. It's just a, a, an outlined oval, messy outlined. You could use it that way or that way. Uh, like that. February Gratitudes, and there's a list of a space for five different things. And again, you could just put something over there, like a piece of washi tape or a little scallop border or something, if you didn't want to journal that way, which I don't like journaling that way. Then we've got February, this and that. <clears throat> again, nice space for a little square photo here. It's um, I typically print my photos up at two by two when I'm printing squares. So this, you know, a two by two would fit nicely in this space. It wouldn't cover up this and that. So that's very usable. I like that. Oh, I love this. What a great color swatch card. I really love that. Beautiful. I love the, that yellow really makes that. Then we have this happened in February stuff. So lots of great cards. I have been using my own blank project life cards that I made myself. I designed them and printed them up. So it's, and they have no words on them. And uh, I, I do think it's nice to have a mixture of cards with words and cards without words. So I, so I, I'm going to like working these into the cards that I already have that don't have anything written on them. So now this is the stamp set for the month. They've changed the packaging a little bit on this as well. I don't remember her stories by the month stamp sets having this printed on the back of it. So that's pretty nice. And I always take the packaging off of my stamp sets. It's just so much easier to use them like that <clears throat> as opposed to with the packaging on them. So good things, hard things, currently more love, more empathy, more kindness. So lots of, I really like that the stamp set gives you a chance to repeat some of the elements that are in the cards so that you can kind of have it at a different size or in a different color or something like that. Then we get these beautiful printed wood veneer hearts. Love these. Oh, I really love these. Such a nice way to do wood veneer. Oops. There we go. It is such a nice way to do wood veneer. I really love 
these wood veneer chips. I feel like I'm getting a little bored with wood veneer, but this freshens it up a little bit and makes it fun and exciting to use. Then we have a sheet of word stickers, very kind of love and Valentine's Day kind of focused. I see the words date night and angel, love our friendship. I like that there's some non-romantic ones in there too. That's nice. <clears throat> And then we get some chipboard. And I always love Allie's chipboard. I like that it is not shiny. It is matte. Oops. And what I was about to say is I like that they stay in the... Oh, these are not stickers. These are just chipboard. Okay, so that's different. And they don't stay in as well because they don't have the backing, right? Um, but yeah, these are just chipboards, so you have to put your own adhesive on them now. And they don't stay in as well. Of course, you know, you can run some washi tape across the back of it to keep it in place. That'll hold them in there a little bit, but hmm, these are not going to be as easy to store as they typically have been. I'll show you another set. <clears throat> When they have the adhesive backing on them, they just seem to stay in better, right? Like I can move this around and even put like quite a bit of pressure. They will pop out if you put too much pressure on them. But like, as you can see, I've had this for a while. I've used most of them, but the other ones have stayed intact. I'm not sure that these, like even just kind of moving it around like this, they're starting to fall out. So that poses a bit of a storage problem because I really like having them on the sheets. It's easy for me to kind of flip through and see what I have. Uh, I suspect that by the end of the month, any leftovers are going to be popped out of this sheet. And I'm going to have to put them in with my loose chipboard, uh, which is okay, but I'm going to be less likely to find them if I have to put them that way. But anyhow, we'll see. I'll scrap with it for a while and... And uh, if it doesn't work for me, it doesn't work for me. Maybe I'll figure out a solution or who knows. So that's the stories kit. And then we have the stories by the month kit. And I do not get the stamp anymore. I have found that I'm not using the stamp sets quite as much. So I decided to, uh, like even when I do use the kits, it's not the stamp set that I'm using the most. So I decided to go down to just the kit. Uh, also, if you get the kit and the stamp set, like if you sign up for the subscription, you also get access to the class. I found I wasn't using the class either. So, uh, so anyhow, I thought I'd save myself some money because I'm also wanting to check out paper person kits. I haven't, I haven't subscribed to her kits since she rebranded. I used to love Kelly Perky's kits and I got them for a long time until I just kind of needed, it wasn't that I didn't like them anymore. I just needed a change. I just had so much of her stuff in my stash. I needed something different. So, so what comes in the stories kit? Well, the stories kit comes with some of this paper. This is seven by eight. Is it? It's, uh, a little bit more than eight. It's like eight and a quarter by seven. And these pieces of paper are designed so that they're the right size to go in an album. You could cut it down if you wanted to put it in a page protector, but you can actually just put it in the album without a page protector. So this is my stories album that I've been using for those kits that have been coming like this up until now. Uh, and so as you can see, if you just punched a hole here and punched a hole there, this could go in amongst my pages uh, fairly, fairly easily. And I like that. I like that you've got options for this paper. So we, and I guess that's one of the benefits of the different packaging is now she can include bigger paper than what would fit in this kind of a packaging, right? So we have one of these, they're all single sided. And one of them says beginnings, the story of how this whole thing began. And then we have a patterned paper that's blue with white writing on it. That talks, it has a, a beginning kind of a theme. It's embark, get in, set in motion, begin here, hello, beginning, starting, and then a bullseye, which is great for 
documenting goal setting and that sort of thing. I really like the colors on this bullseye. I feel like it would look really nice um, cut in half. Yeah, I think it would look nice like that as a pattern paper on a 12 by 12 layout. So what is this? Let's see. This is a piece of chipboard. It just says start here. Is it a single or is it a couple? Yeah. So these are nice embellishments here. It says start here, the best place to begin. And I'm guessing that this could also be put in here as, as it is. You could also laminate this and put it in. There's all sorts of things that you could do with this. Um, so start here. And then there's this one here that has these watercolor swatches on it and a place to do some journals and details for your story. So we've got those. Then we have some embellishments of some type. These are words, a new day, begin again, and fresh start. These would look so nice in an album together. Oh my goodness, beautiful. I love that color scheme. These also don't have the adhesive backing on them. These are gonna, I'm gonna have to handle these carefully or they're going to pop out. So these are like little chipboard circles. These often come in Ellie Edwards kits. I really like them. They're easy to use. And I like that they come in a variety of sizes from big to medium to small. A nice way to list things out and uh, just different phrases and sentiments that go along well with the theme. I feel like I'm going to have to put, yeah, I am definitely going to have to put this back in or I'm going to have little chipboard circles all over everything. We'll figure out a way to work that into our crafting process. Then we have phrase stickers in this beautiful yellow. Love, love, love these. And they're all phrases that go along with the idea of beginnings. Okay, so next, there's always a little piece in the kit that is the name of the kit. Here is, what is this made out of? It's cardstock. Yeah, it's a cardstock die cut begin. It's like a fairly heavy cardstock. But yeah, I was just trying to figure out if it's plastic. It almost feels plastic, but it isn't. It's chipboard. Not chipboard. It's cardstock. Um, I'm going to put this back in its package too. Just because I feel like it, it's, it might get damaged. Then there's always cards. And the cards are really my favorite part of the stories kit. So let's have a look at the cards. The cards are my favorite part of the Ali Edwards stories kits. So let's have a look at them. We have this one, which is, it looks like it's on a watercolored background or a painted background. It says ready to begin. Really pretty color of green. Picks up on the green in the other parts of the kit. Then we have starting right here with a bunch of arrows. Good place to do some journaling or put a photo. Then we have this card, which could hold a bunch of like six different stories or six different photos, um, or you could cut them apart and use them as design elements on other cards or on a project. This one has this beautiful watercolor blue and it says currently beginning. <clears throat> I know what I'm going to use these cards for. I think I'm going to, I'm going to do a little, maybe a little insert in my project life. Uh, this one has these three swatches of color and it says the story and there's one, two, three. That's a beautiful card. I like that one. I don't usually journal. I, I don't usually document that way, but I really like the design of that. This one says begin again. I love the overlapping. It really reminds me of these because it's very similar, right? Oh, look, it is just different colors, but exactly the same size. They, no, they don't quite fit over top of one another, but very close. 
begin again. So there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six four by six cards. So let's have a look at the eight three by four cards. We have let's get this party started with pinks and reds, and I really like the addition of that yellow. We have a story, a little bit about life right now. Then we have one, two, three, get it, get it, get it. And I do really like this design. Then we have begin and looks like, sounds like, feels like. I do not tend to scrapbook this way at all. And so I will probably layer something over this or cut this off or do something. I do like the begin, but I don't use that kind of thing very often. Uh, the magic of beginnings, everything starts somewhere. And I really love cards like this. If you're going to put some words on it, I like it being kind of flexible so that I can do what I want with this. If I want a list, I can do my own little numbers down it. Then we have a swatch of really beautifully layered watercolor. And it says, bring on more joy, bring on a fresh start, bring on a new beginning. I really like that card. That's one of my favorites. Uh, this one says ready over and over again and then it says make it happen. This would make a really nice filler card just the way it is. I like cards like this that you can just stick in if you've got a space or you're running out of ideas and the card looks nice enough just the way it is. This one says dude just start where you are now. <laughs> All right, now these are interesting. I had a look at these and I was wondering, what are those? I think they're little strips, but there are so many of them. They're all numbered. These are numbered, they're single-sided, and it's just this big stack of all of these little journaling strips. And if you don't want them to be numbered, it looks like they're probably numbered. For, oh, some of them are not numbered. Maybe it's the days of the month. It goes up to 28, I see. 29. Yeah, no, they're not in order either. So it's hard to know how far it goes up. But uh, yeah, so we've got all of these that could be used for the days of the month. It could be used for a really long list or part of a list. Uh, or you could even just kind of cut them off and... Uh, use them as strips that don't have numbers. So really, really nice. If you were doing a project in a book like this, for example, uh, it would be that would add some nice consistency across the pages to have every page have one of these on it. These could even be page numbers. Then we have some badges, and this is what I love Allie Edwards for. I love her really unique embellishments. And these do have adhesive backings on them by the look of it. Do they? Yeah, they do. Anyways, I can't get it off, but I am pretty sure this is like waxy and I'm pretty sure that these have adhesive backing on them. Fresh new start, ready heart. I like that there's a variety of sizes. I love the colors of them. These are really beautiful. There we go. All right. So these are the Allie Edwards kits for the month of February, a little bit of a change and we will see how, how, um, how this change affects how I use the kits, but I'm looking forward to incorporating some of these beautiful goodies into my February and into March as well, because the next kit won't come until mid-March, I'm sure. So I'll be using these for the next month, give or take. Take care and have a really great scrappy week.